It's my favorite time of year. The time of year where ghosts and goblins wander the earth and try to get into whatever mischief they can. It's also a great time of year to scare ourselves silly with spooky movies, stories, and of course, video games. Last year I went over some great picks for the Atari 7800, and if you missed that, then I'll have it linked in the description of this video. But this year, I want to feature a console that's a little bit more advanced. A console capable of some real frightening gameplay and visuals. And a console that is horrifyingly difficult to set up and play with. <laughs> that's right, I'm talking about the Atari VCS 800. And with that console, there's actually some fantastic choices to play this All Hallows Eve. So sit back, dim the lights, grab a bubbling goblet of your favorite beverage, and join me as we take a look at some great Halloween games on the Atari VCS. But first, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoy it, and subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 5,200 subscribers in order to do our next giveaway, so don't forget to do all that and hit the bell icon to be notified whenever we upload. Okay, on to the video. We all know the VCS is a celebration of Atari for the Atari fans, so as expected, you get access to the all-time great 2600 games, along with games for some other consoles. So if you're nostalgic for the horrifying days of yore, then you'll be happy to know that Haunted House is available on the console. It's simple by today's standards, but it can still be just as creepy and scary as ever to be chased around a dark and haunted house by ghosts, spiders, and other ghoulies. So you'll want to take the time to build the urn, but don't take too much time, or you might join the other spirits haunting the house for all eternity. But that's not the only version of Haunted House available on the BCS 800. There's actually two others that you can play, if you know where to look. There's an update to Haunted House available on the Atari 50th collection, and it's a pretty straightforward upgrade of the original. But the gameplay has been improved, along with the visuals, and it can be, well, even more intense to play. Being chased by the ghosts and ghouls is just as terrifying, but the added effects make getting caught truly a frightening consequence. And there's more to the game than just the one house. There are multiple levels and things to do in this 50th celebration of the original title. And it's pretty deep, so it could take quite a bit of your Halloween to get through it. But there is one last version of Haunted House that I want to discuss, and this one will take more than one terrifying night to get through. Simply called Haunted House, this remake reimagines the game completely in order to make things deeper and accessible to gamers with modern sensibilities. Equipped with your lantern, you have to battle the ghosts and ghouls throughout the mansion in order to save your friends, defeat several unique bosses, and purify the house to rescue your uncle. Haunted House 2023 plays incredibly well, and is available on several modern platforms, but the scariest has to be the Atari VCS. And you can't go wrong with any version of Haunted House, really. But, if for some reason you can only choose one, I think most people will get the most horror out of the 2023 remake. It's a pretty long adventure, especially if you want to rescue and power up the kids, fix the Great Hall, and obtain all the collectibles. But the main adventure will be terrifyingly terrific for most people. But beyond Haunted House, there are still plenty of ghastly games to play on the Atari VCS for this Halloween season. Days of Doom is a game for every person who ever said they could survive a zombie apocalypse. You assemble a team of allies and try to do your best to scavenge for food, supplies, and fight off the undead hordes who are constantly harassing you. This is not a game that you can complete in a single sitting, as you will inevitably unlock more and become more powerful as you play and as you fail. It's sort of equal parts roguelike, strategy game, Oregon Trail, and turn-based adventure. And it's an experience, much like Haunted House 2023, that you can have on just about any modern console. But it's best experienced on your haunted Atari VCS. There's nothing like it on the console, 
and it adds some much-needed gameplay variety. But the terror it provides is second to none, if you ask me. And your brains will eventually be eaten. Savage Halloween is a game title that is, well, a little on the nose, but it also describes exactly what the game is about. Or, well, I guess at least what time of year you should be playing it. It's the first game on the list with little involvement by Atari, and is rather an indie game developed by Second Boss, who has quite a few games published on the system. Savage Halloween is a run and gunner with an 8 bit aesthetic, similar to what you might have seen on the NES and SNES. You have multiple characters to play as and many worlds to get through if you want to stop the eternal Halloween rave from never ending. I think most Atari fans will feel right at home with this one, and it controls pretty well for what it is. Savage Halloween is a creepy alternative to the normal, happy-go-lucky and colorful 8-bit stuff that we normally see. And that makes perfect sense when you want to play a scary game in the month of October. And speaking of indie games, I have to bring up Circus Interstellar. Are you afraid of clowns? What about blood-soaked killer clowns who want to turn you into cotton candy cocoons? This game is more action than horror, but that's A-OK -okay with me. Because this game is going to make your heart pound fast, and your palms sweat as you try to escape room after room of killer clowns from outer space. Not to mention the massive unique boss clown heads that will steamroll you if you're not prepared. Circus Interstellar might be one of the best games on the console, and it's definitely one you should own if you like games in a similar vein to Berserk, Frenzy, or Smash TV. Oh, and you can use the classic controller to really ramp up the fear and frights. So, don't let the clowns fool you. Circus Interstellar is a ghoulishly good time on the Atari VCS 800. But before we end the video, I do want to hit on some Halloween elements that other games feature, or have featured in the past. Tire Tracks 2600 was developed by the extremely talented Muddy Funster, and there is a Halloween spooky type level in the game. You have to bicycle around tombstones, ghosts, zombies, and skeletons. All the while a full moon and depressing background cover the back portion of the screen, making for a truly creepy feel. Heck, the game even has a winter wonderland environment for those long winter months. So Tire Tracks has you covered at all times of the year, and it was awesome of Muddy to add in these two levels. I do remember last year that Strike Zone 2600 turned into Fright Zone for most of October, but I don't know if that's going to happen this year or not. As I write this, it doesn't appear to be switching over to Fright Zone, but it was a nice gesture for October and Halloween of 2023, and it could happen for other games in the future. Food Fight Culinary Combat will undoubtedly have Halloween-themed cosmetics for you to deck out your character with. And, well, it looks like I was right, because you can purchase a witch's hat and black cat-themed shirt for your combatants to wear during their food fights. You can also just hang out in the Haunt Topic for all of October, which of course is their Haunted House-themed clothing store parody of Hot Topic. A very spooky place for very scary people, if you ask me. And that's really all I have for the moment. The Atari VCS still has new content being released on a monthly basis, and it shows no signs of stopping or slowing down. So there might be even more horror-themed games to play on the console by this time next year. I personally will be playing Savage Halloween, all three versions of Haunted House, and, well, outside of the VCS, I'll be doing my yearly tradition of playing Midnight Mutants on the Atari 7800. But now I want to hear from all of you. What games will you be playing this October for Halloween? Which games that I mentioned in this video is your favorite, and did I miss any that would make sense for this list? And what Halloween slash scary games would you like to see released on the Atari VCS? I've said it before, but I think that Faith, the Unholy Trinity, would make a whole lot of sense on the console. Anyway, let me know the answers to all this, and more in the comment section down below. But beware, those comments, I've heard they're haunted.
Anyway, please check out our social media outlets like Twitter, X, and Instagram. We also have a Discord for you to haunt, with lots of ghoulish Atarians already having discussions there as we speak. Links to everything is in the description below. And please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or with a YouTube membership. Patreons get exclusive spooky audios, and YouTube members get access to our scary content a whole day early. But both will get exclusive haunted extra content like unboxings, collection videos, and more. These classy Atarians have already started supporting the channel, and if it wasn't for them, the channel might have been put in a mausoleum a long time ago. So, thank you all. You all rock. And with that, it's time to wrap up another mummy, uh, I mean video. Okay, no more Halloween puns, let's just finish the video. I've been the 7800 Pro Gamer, a fan of Fall here at the Atari Network, and I'd like to thank you all for watching the video. And until next time, remember to stay spooky, Atarians. Or, uh, I mean stay classy, Atarians. Damn it, I said no more puns.